it would spread across the field within seconds. It's a firestorm that's burned more than 200,000 acres. Now 5,000 men and women find themselves on the front lines. Five miles outside of Okanagan, this crew from Arizona worked to save an apple orchard and nearby homes. Been firefighting for a couple of years now. Easton Roberts spent the day digging fire lines, cutting down brush, and back burning. When the fire reaches this point, there's no more, no more fuel for it to burn. It's been going like this for a couple of days now. It's pretty intense. Sean Killian came from Salem, Oregon, and just wrapped up a 16-hour day. You really kind of have to just stand in awe. And not much you can do, but just prepare. The dry weather and excessive temperatures have made this battle a big one, but it's the wind that made this fire destructive. Sometimes it'll pick up and get some pretty heavy gusts. Some things we can't stop, but it's very, it's very hard to see um, families lose their homes. A minimum of 500 homes have evacuation notices. You see the heartbreak when you come across those houses that are burnt to cinders and all you see is the metal frames left from cars. Pump and push. That's why it's so hard to tell you that Mother Nature is not done yet. The flames continued tonight on this long road for firefighters in central Washington. Pretty incredible. Watch this. It's amazing how powerful nature can be. It was almost time to sit down for dinner. Things were nice and it was raining and Bob comes in the kitchen and he said, did you hear that? And I said, what? That's when the front door burst open and water started flooding in. It was just roaring through. The slope just outside Janie Lewis and Bob Elk's home simply gave way. It took less than 10 minutes to make a 60 foot ravine. They may have dodged the massive Carlton Complex wildfire this summer, but there was no escaping the mud and boulders that took direct aim on their house of 20 years. The furniture was floating. Just to the north, another mudslide wiped out part of Highway 20 and swept debris across a handful of properties. A construction crew worked to build a temporary bypass so traffic could get through. In all, the Washington Department of Transportation knows of at least 10 mudslides, four of which blocked roads, including Highway 153, which runs right in front of Janie and Bob's house. This is just the worst I could ever think of. As soon as neighbors heard about what happened, they rushed to the scene, buckets in hand. I had no idea what I was walking into. This is the worst thing that my best friends have had to deal with. Yep, so it's a mess. We've got the important stuff out. We have the artwork and the musical instruments out. So, we're... oh, did I get you in there? <laughs> wow, it was close. Not to be outdone by what came down the hillside. Look at all the people that showed up. Are we lucky? Now, there's a torrent of help. Well, it's awesome. It's why we live here. Every day, even every hour. Maybe it's a release, I don't know. The show of support outside Marysville Pilchuck High School gets a little bit bigger. Doesn't matter if you're a student, doesn't matter if you're a staff yeah. member. And while the sheer size of this chain link display was the first thing that drew the eye of Linda Craig and her daughter. It's amazing how much stuff there is. The second was this sign in support of the shooter. They were all friends, I understand. He seemed like a good kid, but I was a little taken back that his name was up here. Even experts who study school shootings have said it's a bit unusual. Jalen Freiberg memorialized side by side with the names of his victims. Yeah, this is Jalen right here. But those experts, people like Deborah Price will tell you, don't know Marysville. Well, any kid in this world that gets hurt, you know? Sorry. A spokesperson for the school district said essentially the same. This fence is a spot to remember all of the students they lost last Friday, a spot that grew organically. And right now, they have no plans to change it. I forgive him for what he did, even though it really isn't my place, I guess. Forgiveness that not everyone may be ready for. It's your heart, you know, that it comes from. But no matter what side of the fence you're on. It's okay, Grandma. This fence is home to love, not hate. And it's really nice to see a community getting together like this. 
From a block away, we knew we'd found him. The guy in the red and white hat pacing back and forth on the sidewalk. What happened? My card got stuck in the machine. Another victim of another Seattle parking machine hungry for helpless credit cards. When your card got stuck, what started going through your mind? This is when your day officially gets awful. You go berserk until you scan that jumble of instructions printed on the machine and find the emergency phone number. Let's call it Parking 911. Racing to the rescue at the speed limit, Seattle's savior of stuck credit cards, Joseph Vincent. This may be the only time you ever want to see the parking patrol. Just a moment, I'm sure I can retrieve it. Oh. A machine takes but does not return someone's credit card about once every day. Not bad odds, really. There are more than 2,000 machines until your card gets swallowed. This is so stuck. this is a stuck card, yep. This is, the machine should be kicking it out. It's not kicking it out. I mean, I'm pulling this with, with all, all your might. All your might, yes. Vincent digs deep into the machine's 10-year-old belly. It's sensitive stuff in there. The city asked us not to show you for security reasons. It's um, usually a sigh of relief when I get there for the citizen. I think if this happened to me, I'd yes. probably want to punch you, to be honest with you. Well, and that's <laughs> what we brace ourselves for when we get there. Vincent and the other two technicians get special training, learning how to calm a furious customer late for work and getting later. Do they still have to pay for parking? I will pay for their parking. The city will pay for their parking. What are you feeling right now? Uh, just embarrassment for the camera being three feet away from my face. Treasure that embarrassment, because soon it'll be as old as the machine that locked its jaws on your credit card. Over the next few years, the city is replacing all 2,000 of them. Until then, next time you pay for parking, just hope your machine isn't craving a little credit card for lunch. In Seattle, Dan Casuto, King 5 News. One syllable, two letters. Go, 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 go. And for the rank and file machinists who packed into union headquarters on Thursday evening, go, go, go. the word no has become a battle cry. Go, 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 go. It is how they plan to vote on a contract extension Boeing has called its best and final go, offer. Go, go. With people like Mike Bush and his wife Woo! who met at the Everett plant and together boast more than 40 years with the company They'll tell you, Boeing is bluffing. <laughs> so will Jacob Bowers, yeah. who we met in the front row at this rally. Poor victory. He's cheering for his mom yep. and thousands of machinists just like her, who say they've given everything to this company. Exactly. Exactly. Sacrifice that Charles Ravina understands perhaps better than anyone. I work in the plumbing department, and we have people that have lost their fingers by pinching, in the carpenter's shop. Hey. The battle wounds they can handle, an unfair contract they cannot. Keep our bridges! So instead of being strong armed into making concessions, we are Boeing! We are machinists! These machinists are simply saying no. Oh, no, oh, no! One syllable, two letters, and a word that come Friday oh, God! Oh, God! could decide everything. We'll just keep doing it. We'll just keep voting now. We're definitely not in this alone. We take planes and we restore them immaculately to their original condition. Of all the visitors to Paul Allen's Flying Heritage Collection in Everett. And then we share them with the public. Yeah. 95-year-old Ralph Jenkins. Very, very intense memory. Might yeah. come here the most. Yeah, we always come together up here. But never alone. For Colonel Jenkins, <laughs> yeah. this is about bringing his two greatest loves together. She's a great sport, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the P-47 Thunderbolt, husband and wife are here to see, is an exact replica of the one Ralph flew during World War II. Throughout 129 dangerous missions. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. And seeing it fly. What a wonderful sound. Makes his heart soar. <laughs> This plane is special. It was a song that was uh, written in uh, the early 1940s. She's a slap happy lassie from Tallahassee. <laughs> so what else would you call it, your own airplane except the Tallahassee lassie? 
name he first gave to his beautiful Tallahassee-born bride 72 years ago. Wow. <laughs> Kiro's love is what got Ralph through the war. The emotion in their eyes is just really moving. And the plane named in her honor. The Tallahassee Lassie. Yes, that was a wonderful show. Is what brought him home. Tallahassee Lassie, yeah. In Everett. She's a slap happy Lassie from Tallahassee. Heather Graff, <laughs> King 5 News. <laughs> These two, they look familiar. <laughs> really? Yeah, so do you, John. Yeah, I, I feel like we've met. We feel a little bit different right now. That's it. I can scream really loud, you know. <laughs> That's them. You are those guys? Yeah, I think so. These guys? Yeah, I think we are those really loud people in the stadium. Are those guys? Oh, oh, oh. Without all that screaming. Yeah, we are kind of quiet right now. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I don't want to hurt your ears. Without... All that makeup. The Seahawk beak going Seahawk across. Seahawk beak going across. But with a story to tell. I was like shaking like this. I was so nervous. Like no other Seahawks fan. We had 211 people on the middle of the football field. That's Jeff and Dee Dee in the most important day of their lives. The only wedding ever on the 50-yard line. September 20th, 1998. Kingdom. Before the game. Redskins. And we won. That's when everyone... <laughs> <laughs> began calling them Mr. Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Seahawk. Seahawk. This Seahawks obsession they share She's louder than I am. Yeah. Has transformed their lives. Twelfth woman and twelfth man. And transformed their Auburn home. It's turned into a big blue and green shrine. This is when we went to the Super Bowl the last time. And that's us cheering on on the street. In the snow, of course, in Detroit. It was awesome. It was a great time. And they've had a great time collecting everything. We have a Seahawk beer tiller. The bedroom, the bathroom. Even the plates, dishes. It's all Seahawks. Even their two cats, huh? their names. What are you doing? Oh, you got the bed all furry again? Show just how much Jeff and Dee Dee are obsessed. Meet Replay. And over there. End zone. End zone. Up here, of course, is what I do during game day. We hug them every time. They have Seahawks stuff. This place music. Christmas one. Here. And there's a wagon up there that... I had to have. There. Us true Blue fans, that's us. Everywhere. Marshawn Lynch right there with his Skittles, just staring right at you. Watch out. And over here. And this is our dead Christmas tree. <laughs> the tree the couple refuses to take down until after the okay, Super so Bowl. Look at this. Dear Santa, all I want is for the Seahawks to win the Super Bowl. Thank you. Everywhere you turn. Inside their home. Got the Seahawk carpet. And now let's go outside for a sec. Look at this. The pride. The love and that pile of concrete, it's kingdom concrete. No question, this obsession has cemented no better bond. their relationship. You have your ups, you have your downs, but man, when the ups are up, it is great. I wonder, is he talking about the marriage or the Seahawks? Um, both. <laughs> <laughs> With their end zone front row season tickets. I must have said, oh my God, at least like 200 times. Mr. and Mrs. Seahawk were in the perfect spot. I was right off to her left. Spitting distance. 15 yards at the most. From that Richard Sherman play scene round the world. Oh my God, oh my God. And I was going, no flags, no flags, no flags. We're gonna go to the Super Bowl. Mr. and Mrs. Seahawk couldn't be more proud, oh more happy. This is the greatest thing in the world. We got our tickets. Yes, thank God. Yes, we are so excited. And when they return home next week, win or lose. The tree's, the tree's so, so dead. dead. <laughs> They'll have to take down that tree. It's going away after the Super Bowl. Put away their makeup. Big green eyelashes. And rest up for next season. This is awesome! This is the best it could ever be so far. John Sharifi. Every time you say Super Bowl, my heart goes ding ding. King 5 News. A lot of it is sanded and finished. Sure. Whoever did this carving, they did good. We have created the tallest cuckoo clock in America. Well, it's running. Oh. But I don't see any legs oh. on this. I want to see what's popping out of there. Who's going to pop out of there? <laughs> and what kind of popping are they going to be doing? <laughs> We're waiting right now for Santa Squatch to come out. Portland has so many things to offer. The clock is sort of a play off of the element of time. He's like, ah! I mean, it's working. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I'm the creator. I took it out of the log into reality. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo.
cool, cool. <laughs> we'll be doing activations every hour on the hour, today and tomorrow, here at Westlake Center, so people can come down and find out more about what makes Portland so great. I feel something from this. You feel it. You if feel this, the it's heavenly. If this tree could tell us a story, I know, that you know tree what would it be said? smiling, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be mad at you. You wouldn't be mad. He's busy reading a book, that's Sasquatch, yes. Look at that chair, I want to take that chair home. Rock my grandbaby in it. I haven't been there in 20 years, so I wouldn't know what's happening. There's literally something going on every hour of every day, so people should come down, do their tax-free shopping before the holidays. The clock is great imagery because the clock represents time. Time to me, to the birds. In March, I'll be 103. We've played off of some of the key elements of Portland. Voodoo, running from Magic Donuts, you know, all that. This, is, this matters, this is beautiful. That is cool. Some of our historic figures like the Portlandia statue, some of the more whimsical things like Sasquatch. We have a gentleman riding a beer barrel. Keep Portland weird, right? When you come to Portland, whether you come today, tomorrow, next week, January, whatever, there will be something going on that you won't see anywhere else. Hey guys, good morning. Sunshine at Pier 57 on Seattle's Elliott Bay can be hit or miss. So when the Great Wheel opened up in the summer of 2012, the team behind it brought in a man-made mood brightener. <laughs> <laughs> named Juan Salito. Enjoy your visit. His job is to greet and to seat. You guys are in number 24. 25. Number 26. Every person <laughs> that climbs on board. Enjoy your ride. And as this spinning attraction draws crowds, ba -da -la 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 -bum -bum. Juan's singing attraction yesterday <laughs> entertains them. Yeah. He's a very, very funny dude. I've known him for uh, quite a long time. Am I smiling? Yeah, do the smile. Yeah. <laughs> Every day's a holiday. Now, that may be true in Juan's happy world, unless it's a slow day at the wheel. I'm just a lonely boy. But this day, lonely and blue, really and truly is. You know who sang this song? Calls for celebration. With nothing to do. Very energetic. Lots of singing. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> a holiday dedicated to love. How you doing? The truth be told is one. Happy Valentine's Day. Second favorite special occasion. It's 200 feet tall. That happens to fall on February the 14th. It's Ferris Wheel Day today, yeah. Ferris Wheel Day, because it marks the moment when the ride's inventor was born. The original guy, you know? More than 150 years ago. Watch your step, guys. And had George Ferris never created this one-of-a-kind contraption. Weddings. Consider this. Really fun. Just how many sky-high proposals atop Ferris wheels all over the world uh -huh. might never have happened. I was kind of uh, leaning down to hug her, and then she said, I love you, and she sat back up, and then she looked down and realized I was holding a ring out. A lot of love! Yes. One. Yeah, I think so. Has lost count. Are you guys deeply in love? I've been with you for four years, and I know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Will you marry me? You're so cute, yes. And so it seems Valentine's Day and Ferris Wheel Day are the perfect match. You're so cute. Come here. Sunset. That usually brings people out. Does it get really crowded? The answer to that question, too, is yes. And then it being the full moon, oh, I, we get fired up. Yeah. Nightfall will bring many more engagements. I want. Okay, you too. He's a character. He's definitely, you can tell right away. Super friendly, smile on his face, loves what he's doing, likes meeting people. But we had to ask. All you have to do is stomp your feet. Da -da 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 of the show-stopping, song-singing, mood-lifting, match-making, retired member of the military. I was in the Air Force. Okay. <laughs> what about him? It's yes, Friday sorry. night, I ain't got nobody. No Valentine for Juan. Que pasa? Bonjour, Madame Moselle. But take a look around the base of the Great Wheel, and you'll see what we did. Meet your new friends. He has all the love. I love the people here. He'll ever need. Can't take my eyes off of you. In Seattle. You're just too good to be true. Have the graph. <laughs> King 5 News. Bye bye. <laughs>
And the high school team they love to root for. Come on, baby boy, let's go, bud! Became just that. I needed it today. I had a bad few days. A happy spot and a glimmer of hope. You got this, envision it! For Suzette Russell, her teenage son. He's a catcher. Nice one! For the two players on this team who lost their homes in the landslide. You all right, Ben? Here we go, Eleven. For everyone in this heartbroken town. We buried four of ours on Sunday, so kind of set in. And I'm glad we have a game today. Yeah, our first home game of the season and our first since the slide. Even Governor Jay Inslee. It is a, a moment of inspiration, so I wanted to support it. Had to see this field of dreams for himself. Oh, we just had a big hit. There's a, maybe a double. All right, go loggers. And for the first time in weeks, <laughs> Joy <laughs> is back in Darrington. Yeah, go, 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 go! To the team who made her smile when she didn't think she could. Things might never be normal. Suzette can say only this. You did good. Three simple words of gratitude. <laughs> and for this community, one very big win. Go, Aiden! <laughs> In Darrington. They all feel the impact. Everybody does. Heather Graff, King 5 News. There's the pizza, there's fish, there's just everything you can imagine at this market. There are people you meet in your lifetime. Hi. Hi. How are you? Conversations you have with them. When you start typing, you start thinking. That get you thinking about the world we live in and the things that matter. For William, it's words. Words to collect, things to define. Yeah. Observations to um, try to put into words. And let us try to put into words what we have here. You can give me like five or ten minutes, right. I'll have it for you. That's okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, Thank great. You. It's a personal kind of gift. I teared up. I'm tremendously touched. Touched by his words. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea, is to touch hearts. Occupying the mind. A poem he wrote for Robin for her daughter Allie. Seed of sun nourished on the fabric of heart, expanded in the love of the eternal mother. Produced this moment. That's you. <laughs> Man, mm, thank you. <laughs> That's really it. The poem is a form of archiving the moment. That's Every poem said. is about that moment. It's like a photograph. Here you go. Each moment changes and navigating the depth of the moment and space. Yeah, brother, I feel like words are floating around, you know, and uh, I'm just kind of picking them out of the air and putting them down. On paper. Sounds like you got that one. Okay, this is what I got. Amidst the heavenly background of irresistible sights and sounds. I do love strings, you know, they like pull on my heart. At the University District Farmers Market. We are amidst a kingdom of vegetables, you know. Who talks like that? Let's walk the precipice of madness. I guess poets do. William Curtis is a proud poet for hire. You provide the topic, and you pay yeah. what you want. Like the sign says. Your topic. Your topic, your price. So you can pick a topic and pick a price. It's pay what you will and what you can. And they just type a poem out. It's as simple as that. Do you want a mushroom? A mushroom. <laughs> I don't know, it would only be one what mushroom. What kind of mushroom? It better be a powerful mushroom. <laughs> a quality that stirs, stirs the, the imagination. Poetry. Writing that formulates a concentrated... Yes, poetry can stir your imagination. A writer having great imaginative and expressive gifts to create a specific emotional response. Feed your soul. Expressive gifts and progressing special Or gives a sense of heightened and, and more meaningful existence. Poetry connects us. That connection is special. Reminds us of our humanity. And the things that matter. Every human being, every soul has a uh, intrinsic desire and need to express themselves. To experience beauty. If we take the time to look around, look up once in a while, the beauty is within our grasp. Would oh, you like a poem? And William Curtis is writing about it. They have to be done in the framework of nature. Here in the Pacific Northwest, 
The elements are still very rich. There's a lot of clean water. There's a lot of really beautiful air. The mountains are alive. Grandfathers looking down upon us, imparting wisdom from the ages. That's what inspires me. That's what nourishes me. The sun never sets on language. And so... I've written thousands of poems on the street. With his fellow poet and buddy at his side, William and Trick write poems, not for themselves. They're pretty incredible. But for others, quickly. Thank you, I'll have it for you in about seven minutes. Isn't that amazing? If you can give me uh, about 10 minutes or so, I'll work something out and then I'll uh, have it for you. People seem to really get something out of it. The typewriter is very visceral. Obviously, it's a true passion for him to sit out in a busy area and just type away. Sometimes they stand over like a hawk, demanding the words, and the sweat pours and the brow is wiped, and we do the best we can. Found along the channels of growth and space for evolution. Akash is doing his best like to brighten up his grandfather's day. $5 was the price he set yeah. for this gift of love. I just want to give him a present about how he was important to me. This is what I have. String, slide, and glamorous adventure of humble song. Philo, splayed, and pocket of Popeye. This poet knows he's got a way with words. The words have a way with me. And he's got a way of digging deep, fast. Speaks right to your heart, you know? Just beautiful words. <laughs> it's my favorite form of payment, tears. And the satisfaction of knowing that his poems are yours now. The bear marks his present time in huckleberries and honey, but the sweetest of them all is the flower growing in the home. Poems that allow you to tell the person you love just that. Robin's daughter, Allie, will read these words. On the fabric Soon. of art expanded in the love of the Eternal Mother. He said it so well. He's a poet, after all. 17 for you. Grateful to be able to bring joy to others. Grateful he can work on his craft with every new customer he meets. Thank you. And with every new poem Howdy. he completes. It's very special when an artist creates something for you. It's magic. And uh, I want to live in the magic. John Sharifi, King 5 News.